Welcome to the Tony Rose Memorial Sports Center in Orangeville, Ontario, as we get set for our Friday night OLA Junior A regular season matchup between the Mimico Mountaineers and the Orangeville Northmen. Hello again, Lance Wynn, working alongside JVI Productions. Thanks for joining us wherever you watch your lacrosse head coaches. For these two teams, for the Mountaineers, Dean George is the bench boss. His assistants, Jeff Ivey, Matt Skies, Tanner Thompson, and Riley Hutchcraft. And on the other side, for the Northmen, Rusty Kruger is large and in charge. His assistants, David Cleverly, Phil Sanderson, Mary Lachetet, and of course, she is the trainer. So two teams come in today unbeaten. The Orangeville Northmen 1-0 with a big win over the Toronto Beaches 10-5 earlier in the week. Mimico 2-0. They, of course, beat Kitchener 11-9 and then Peterborough 11-7. So we are set to go here. Had a chance to speak with both coaches prior to today's game, and this was going to be a measuring stick for both sides as the real test will be here. First shot of the game, back of the net. Wasted no time at all on the board, Lucas Dudemain. So you can see you talk about effective. Boy, Dudemain just getting some room and letting that shot go right from the left side elbow. And first shot finds the back of the net. And a tough one as Chris Oleglary the goalie for Orangeville. And at the other end, starting for Mimico, it's Ethan Brown. So again, right off the faceoff possession, back to the Mountaineers. They'll set things up on that left side. They'll wait for the rest of the offense to filter out. Skip it on over to the right. Thompson, quick shot. Finish, good save there by Oleglary. And now he'll look for an outlet. Northman and almost right off the bat a penalty let that one go good for checking though by Thompson as Finn Thompson of course captain of this Mountaineers team setting things up working it on that side is Cohen Jennings quarterback out there swing it back around to Liam Matthews so some call-ups today from the junior B Northman to assist, of course, with the Junior A and good collapsing defense by the Mountaineers. And they'll retain possession and move it on up. Early in this one, 1-0 one to score as Roussel will work it half boards on the right side. He'll skip to the middle, look, kick it over to the left. Get it back right, cutter in the middle and a golden opportunity from point blank. Justin Lee wasn't able to pull the trigger. And the Northman now with numbers, three on two. Hitting the trailer and going to the underhand was Liam Matthews. And a good save there by Ethan Brown. On the cutter, again working it close. Brown, another good save. Golden chance there for Amos Whitcomb. But he wasn't able to capitalize. Justin Tavares battling in the corner. Of course, Justin, son of the great John Tavares, playing in the junior ranks. Northman now countering the other way. Good job to get it into the offensive end by Colton Marquise. And now the Northman trying to set it up. Good extended defense man-to-man -man by the Mountaineers. Northman, that no-look pass, doesn't get through. Knocked down. And... Good job as the Mountaineers will grab it and regroup. Bacon Dwyer will move it up. Looking for Dodome, nothing doing. That'll go around and easily gobbled up. Borglary lofts that one up to center and taking it in stride is Whitcomb. That shot stopped by Brown. He'll step out. And I stand corrected, just making sure we got the right goaltender. And I do stand corrected. I don't believe that is Ethan Brown. So we'll get that rectified at the, in the meantime, between time, Northman now set to work, trailing by a goal here. Flip pass, back quick shot, just wide of the mark. Good chance there by Benedict, and we're going to have our first penalty of the game. 
And it's going to go to the Mountaineers. Looks like Cole Bagley, the guilty party. A high sticking call, so first power play attempt of this game will go to the Northmen. Marquise at the top, he's the quarterback here. He's got Jennings on that left side. That shot wide of the mark, has a rebound, quick stay, great save. So a good job reset on the offensive board. And another chance for the Northmen. He'll work it around to the right. Good skip pass. And keep it there. Not able to corral it cleanly. But another good backhand pass. Give and go. And that one rung off the crossbar. So that'll be another fresh 30 to work with. Unfortunately, don't have the benefit of a counter clock for the penalty. As it's still going, sidearm well wide. That will go up and off the roofing from Joey Spelina, the leading scorer on this Orangeville team. Early in the season, of course, only been one game. He had a natural hat trick in the last game. Good stick check by the Northman. They move it up two on one. Bounce shot again, rung off the iron. So the post crossbar getting a lot of work here in the early going. As the Northman now will set. Still not sure, probably just less than a minute to go now in the man advantage. Northman working around. That shot went off the defender. I think Tavares got a piece of that. Extended out. That bounce shot. Wide of the mark and a carom. Tavares now with a breakaway. Big save at the other end of the glary. So a chance early for Justin Tavares, thwarted by some good goaltending. And now the Northman will set it up. Penalty winding down. And holding it waiting is Liam Matthews. He'll swing it back. And again, another good shot right on. So Spelina taking it now. Pitt on the run, in the pocket, outlet wide of the mark. Rebound, good job to pick that up from Caden Brennan. He'll retreat to the bench and penalty over teams back to five aside. Thompson, quick pass, swinging around left side. Looking for the duck in, kick it back to Thompson. He's going to try to turn that corner, gives it back, working it through. Dudamain, his shot, stop. Good loft pass, waiting for someone to run under it. Instead, Mountaineers pick that up. And that's a that's Aiken Dwyer and Thompson now. Finn Thompson finds the mark. So the test is real. As Thompson picks up his first of the game, he's got six this season. And more importantly, it's a two-nothing lead for the Mountaineers and you can see just a good job taking advantage of the opening, going to that overhand, using the defender as a screen, and finding the back of the net. Not sure what the officials are sorting out. They, I think they are trying to sort out that penalty clock with 14 minutes to go here in the opening period a good crowd on hand here at tony rose as always of course orangeville always been a hotbed for box lacrosse here in southern ontario you look at these two teams and what they've done of course orangeville impressive 10 o ola titles to their name in junior a loop seven minto cups so that puts them in pretty high standings. On the other side, the Mountaineers with three OLA championships and two Mintos to their franchise name. And off the draw, trying to work it into the offensive end is Nate Ruff. He'll retreat, offense back to work now. And they'll work it to Matthews. Matthews gives it up. Trying to duck in, make something happen, Spelina. Looking down low, and another good shot sneaks its way through. So some fine passing 
but a better finish for Colton Marquise as he picks up his first of the game more importantly cuts the deficit in half now two to one this is just a good job facilitating threading the needle with that pass right down on the crease and giving your teammate the best opportunity to score in that slotted area. Off the draw, Northman control, briefly, loose now. They had it, lost it, and Tagori had it, he lost it, but got some help from his friends now, and it's Aiden McDonald. McDonald, he'll retreat, he'll give way to Lee. Lee matched up, solo on that right side. Now he gets some help. They'll kick it back to the left. Working the interchange. And that's going to be a holding call on an outstanding tackle by Aiden Feem. Unfortunately, not allowed. And for the first time in this game, the Mountaineers will get a chance with the man advantage. Looks like we've got a <laughs> got a missing stick. Not quite sure how you can be on the bench without it. But to work, go the Mountaineers now, leading by a goal here, their first power play opportunity. Thompson at the top. They'll give everyone a touch and work it around. Lee working on the right side with Rousseau. Thompson, skip pass, looking down low, no look, tried to skip it across the crease. That's a tough pass to handle. Northman doing a good job getting it over and good effort, extra effort there by Ruff to get it into the offensive end, kill some clock. Going for a bit of a run now. Whitcomb out there. Some room now for Matthews to work. He Checks back out, looking for Whitcomb. Good job to play the carom. Spin loses it. And now it's picked up. Mountaineers will move it up, and it's McDonald. Into the final minute, the man advantage. Looks like they've gotten the clock fixed, which is a good thing. And Mountaineers now. Back to it. In the power play. Thompson skips it over. Good save, Olegrary, as he... Stuck that pad out. Bodies in the corner and an extra hit there. No call. An interference call, though, will send it the other way. And good job by the officials. And that, of course, official Mark Sandman Sands in the house, as is Kyle Coulter. Good job there to alleviate some pressure by Benedict. Northman now. Looking to try to duck in is Marquise. He'll pull it back out. And too much hands-on going on. That's going to go up the other way. So final 10 seconds here in the Mountaineers' first power play of the game. See here if they try to capitalize. They will not. They'll set things up with Thompson. Thompson tries to step, flips it back. Lee lets it go. And that went off a pad, off the crossbar, and stayed out. The strip, Thompson, in alone, wide of the mark. And I think that may have caught the post. Instead, Northman trying to capitalize, but they don't have the numbers. Edwards will pull it out, and they'll set things up as we are nearing the 10.5-minute mark, period number one. Looking in the middle, not quite sure who that was to. Evan Break, of course, call up a mainstay and one of the leading scorers on the Orangeville Junior B squad. As Dwyer trying to swim his way out of trouble, nothing doing there. The pool's closed and Northman now trying to capitalize, ducking in, using his speed, but nothing doing. Angle covered there as Liam Matthews did a good job, though, to get it back. They'll get a fresh clock to work with. Kick start on that right side with Benedict. Benedict try and nothing doing there. Good save back the other way. Comes Dwyer. 
Dwyer, job well done. He'll give way now. Brown, he'll hold up. He'll retreat. Offense back due to Maine. Rousseau out there on that right side. Matthews is going to skip it. Get it back over to Lee. Rousseau. Little shuck and jive. Trying to elude a defender. Keeps it three in the shot clock. Dying seconds. Got to let it go. And that's going to roll down into the Mimico end. And Whitcomb will get it back. They'll set things up. Turning off that screen and burying that first shot. He got Joey Spalina. First of the game. He's got five this season. And I tell you, Spalina doesn't need a whole lot of room. And of course, no substitute for speed. As you see him get a screen, turns this corner. That's a good shot go and picks that inside corner. So clearly a goal scores goal by Spalina. And we're tied 2-2. Off the draw. Tagori does a good job to get possession and that's going to be a back in call. So it'll stay here with the Northmen as they got a bit of momentum here. So of course when speaking with both coaches they were very adamant both of them said very similar things, of course, coming in unbeaten early in the season and getting that first step, ringing off the crossbar, but ran out of real estate was Matthews. And they emphasized that this game, despite, and of course, no disrespect to the Toronto Beaches, Kitchener or Peterborough, but this was gonna be a real test and a measuring stick for both these two teams. Matthews in some trouble. 10 on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Big Lee. Shovel. Great job by Olicari to keep that basket right where it should be. Northman now trying to move it up. Thompson. Good cross check. Get it over in the offensive end. And they'll try and set things up now. Working around to the right side. Whitcomb kick it now. Looking for the give and go. It's gone and went. Good try though as Spalina trying to facilitate. Now it's going to be Pitt that's going to bring it up for the Mountaineers. We're under eight minutes to go. Braden Pitt, he'll retreat. Thompson now. Finn Thompson, of course, one of the leading scorers on this Mountaineer team early on. Thompson looking down low and I don't even know how he managed to see that but crease the call. As sitting on that crease was Isaiah Morin Weeks. Northman flip it back up and they'll spread to D. Matthews looking for an opening, ducks in. Thinks better of it, peels back out. Seven on the shot clock, back out to the top. Looking for some room. Spalina has it knocked away. He's just gonna have to dump it and he does. That's a violation. And possession, good defensive hold by the Mountaineers as they stand strong on D. Roussel, he'll swing it around. Cameron Asensa out there as well. No on offense, Dudamain's pass to Waters, doesn't connect. Good work by the Northmen to close that off, but a little too much extra correct as you see Owen Ron and you talk about finishing your check. That check lasted about two days. So going to be too many on the floor. The call to the Mountaineers. And that's going to give the Northmen their second power play opportunity of this game. And you're certainly going to get no agreement with that call from the Mountaineers bench as they're certainly vocal about their displeasure. So 0 for 1 with the man advantage. Are the Northmen a chance here to do something about the 2-2 score? Marquise 
will be the quarterback for this offensive set here. And he'll continue to work both sides. Spillina on that right shooter spot. Matthews on the left shooter. Sliding over to get the angle, goes underhand, but there is no angle and no problem. And now the Mountaineers will look to burn some clock. Dudamain. He's going to hold on to it, dump it back, and Roussel looking for Dudamain on the give and go. Dudamain read that one well, took a hit, bounced off, killed a lot of that. Good body check coming from Roussel, and he pops that ball loose. And a good job by the Mountaineers to regain possession. Roussel gets a late screen from Thompson, not able to shed a defender. He'll keep it in that corner. Ten on the shot clock. Roussel using his speed. Comes out and goes low, but big save there as Oreglary spread the legs and had the basket between the wickets. 40 seconds left in the Northman power play. And I'm sure... Head coach Dean, uh, sorry, head coach Rusty Kruger would like a few more opportunities on this power play. Turn around, dump it low, and that's going to be a good goal. So an outstanding job by Spolina to pick up his second of the game. Tiptoe around that crease, and it's 3-2 Northman. Just making sure, not quite sure what the, if there was a call after. So, I think we're just going to have ourselves a timeout. Well, if it is, it's not an official one. Guess we'll call it a water break. That's what it looks like to me. And I'll tell you, if you've ever spent some time in Tody Rose Arena, you know you might want to bring a rag to dab your head and or knows you're gonna leave this arena a little lighter because it's already heating up in here. It's a full house. And beautiful weather outside. 5.05 to go here, first period. 3-2 lead for the home side. After trailing by a couple. Off the draw, Brennan. He'll work it back, and Mountaineers now looking for an opening. Try to get that in the offensive end. Waters does that, gets it over. And Roussel. Thompson skips it down and tough angle to try a quick stick finish. But ball loose. Good job, Russell. No reset. Three in the shot clock. Shot right on by Thompson. And another good save. Been some good goaltending here in this opening period. And now the Northman. Ruff gives it up. He'll retreat to the bench. And they'll set it up. Working left side on the isolation. Matthews, hesitation. Skips it back out. Filtering out late. Ducking back in. Bouncing off a check, Marquise. And there's too much hands on there. That's an interference call. And Tagori took exception. But possession to the Mountaineers now. And they'll work it up into the offensive end. Thompson, Lee, working out there with Morin Weeks. Morin Weeks trying to duck in, had it pop out of his pocket late. Didn't get a shot off. Northman now are going to move it up. Got numbers. Two on one. Dump it off. Looking for the third trail and gets bad save made there. And good job to steer that one aside. Calm, cool, and collective. Spelina. Had a good look. Asensa. He'll put on the brakes, curl out, dump it back over. Thompson, skip it over left side. 
The flip, nothing doing there. Miscommunication. Morin Weeks battling for it. He'll bounce off a check, has a chance here. Ducks in, got it over to that left crease, but wasn't able to pocket that. And Dudamain, and now the Northman, three on two. Trailer, good shot, but wide of the mark. So had all day did Benedict and wasn't able to at least make the netminder make a save. So my apologies, Nate Whittem in net for the Mountaineers. And he's been outstanding. Another delayed penalty coming to the Northman. Chance here down low, quick stick and right on the mark. Rebound, Northman do finally get possession. And good job of officiating, jumping on that early. So the Mountaineers will get a chance with their second power play of the game, 0 for 1. We have 2.26 to go here, opening period. Both these two teams unbeaten in this early season. So Thompson out there at the top. Lee working on that left side with Russo. That shot, Russo will grab the rebound, pull it back out, fresh 30. They'll work it left side. Waters out there on that left side. Morin Weeks from in close, good save. Oreglary, and now racing and moving it up in a hurry is Jaden, sorry, Kalapins. Siapara, my mistake and pardon my bad eyes as Laura Glary's continue to shine between the pipes. Minute 15 to go in the penalty. Northman, they're going to keep that ball moving, try to burn some more clock here. 15 on the shot clock. Looking for something, dump it back over left side. Matthews. Five and a shot clock. Matthews trying to get a step. And he found the mark. Matthews with a shorthanded marker. Tucks that in and waves to a defender. So just a good job. And again, I've said it over and over. No substitute for speed. Got a step and a late little checker. Might have classified as a bit of interference, but... I think the step was already taken by Matthews. He picks up his first of the game. And a shorthanded marker gives the Northmen a 4-2 lead. Still 54 seconds left in the Mountaineers' power play. Off the draw, ball loose, half boards, Tavares battling for it. He gets rubbed out of the play. Northman now scoop it up and move it up. Aiden Fiend, he loses it. Mountaineers bring it right back, turn it in. We're into the final minute here of the period. Thompson, he's going to hold up. Wait a minute. Wait for the rest of the offense now. Final 25 seconds of the power play. Thompson, skip on the interchange. Dump it back, turn it over. Chance now for the Northman. Noah Millsap, and a good save made there by Whittem. Rebound and pocketed. So two shorthanded goals for the Northmen, and it's Caleb Benedict following up the play and finding the mark. So not often you surrender a shorthanded goal, let alone two in the same penalty, but Good job there, follow up and just find that far corner. So with 33.6 seconds, the Northmen turn a man short situation into a power play situation, score twice, and now lead this one 5-2. So dying seconds of the penalty now and timeout called by the Northmen as they're going to try to add another with 28.7 seconds left. 
We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back here at Tony Rose after this. As we get set for the final 28.7 seconds. So some extra coaching as play is on. So the penalty over now. Northman now back to full strength. And here we go. 20 seconds. Keeping it well outside is Matthews. I imagine they'll wait probably to between 10 and 5 seconds to let this shot go with the net empty at the other end with the extra attacker. Matthews kick it over. Sidestep. Swing it back. Quick sick. Good save there by Whitcomb as he slid over perfectly and one period in the books and never, no one ever seems to go quietly into the night here. 5-2 after one period. We'll be back with the second period after a short break.
Welcome back to Tony Rose Arena here in Orangeville, Ontario, as we continue with our coverage of the OLA Junior A. Mimico Mountaineers visiting the Orangeville Northmen. Lance Wynn working alongside JBI Productions. Always glad that you have joined us here on this Friday night. Good crowd on hand here supporting their home side. Unbeaten after one game, of course, 1-0 record for the Northmen after a 10-5 win over the Beaches. Up against their toughest opponent yet in the Mountaineers. But the Northman leading this one 5-2 off the draw and right off the bat, blink an eye, going to be a delayed penalty coming to the Mountaineers. A high sticking call to McIsaac. So a chance with the net empty for the Northman right off the bat to increase their lead. They'll work that around. Whitcomb kick it back out. Sorry, that was Spelina. My apologies, of course. And Spelina with the rebound from way out that shot. Found nothing by Marquise, no matter. As for the third time in this game, the Northmen will go to the power play. They are one for two. But on the previous power play by the Mountaineers, the Northmen scored two shorthanded goals. So see how they fare now with the man advantage. They've had a little of both, to say the least. Marquise at the top, he's the quarterback. Spalina on that right shooter spot. He'll set the screen interchange, running side on rebound, picked up, good save there. So a good job by Whittem to close that off, and that power play quickly will come to an end. As a high sticking call on Marquise will nullify that power play with a minute 39 left. So we'll play some four on four lacrosse for that time. And the Mountaineers looking for something to get back in this game, trailing by three. And a quick shot there, but Morin Weeks wasn't able to find the far corner, ran out of real estate now, and Northman now will counter the other way. Benedict, half boards, got lots of room, dump off, looking for Spolina, bounce shot, easy save there from Whittem. And now he'll look for an outlet, he finds it in Tagori. Tagori will leg it over the timeline. He has some room now, lots of space out there. Waters, kick it back out. And he sends it over to Finn Thompson. Of course, Finn Thompson comes from some good stock. And his dad, an outstanding softball player, as the athletic genes have been passed along. Northman now, chance on offense. They're making full changes. And they skip it over, and it's Whitcomb. Whitcomb dumps it back, looking for an opening, do, trying for something. Matthews, and too much on that as it was deflected. We'll stay right here, fresh clock for the Northmen. One on one, trying to duck his way in. Matthews swimming his way out of trouble. Good defense there as the Mountaineers close that off to Gorey. Good footwork, Pitt on the rotation. And that's gonna be an interference call. That was due to the good defense by the Mountaineers. As Thompson now will bring it up over into the offensive end. So the Mimico penalty over now. They'll have a short, a brief 15-second man advantage here. Dudamain at the top. He'll work it over. They'll work the interchange. Thompson. Thompson had an ocean. Has room wrong side, but that one went off the post. So a reset. Good offensive rebound will give another possession to the Mountaineers. Waters. Skip. Right back. Morin Weeks sends it over. Thompson shot. Good save there by Origuri. As he got the shoulder pad up, ball loose. Scrum now, and both teams battling for it. It pops out. Northman had it, lost it, had it. And again, still rolling around there. Northman with a chance, and they come away with it. Don't have the numbers they'd like in Edwards. Dump it over, though. Trying to duck his way in. Spalina. 
Boy, he's tricky. Kick over that, that quick stick finish. Tough angle to finish. And now a good outlet and on the money to Tavares. Goes to the bounce shot. Justin Tavares finds the back of the net for the first time. Well, you can see a beauty pass from Whittem on the money in the basket. And if you've ever seen number 11 play professionally, boy, pops with something. Well, JT coming along. Where's 11 in lacrosse, 91 in hockey to honor his uncle John Tavares. Of course, the captain of the Maple Leafs. So a big goal by the Mountaineers, closes the gap now to 5-3. McIsaac has Tavares with him. Go for it again, goes bounce, but this time, Oreg Larry does a good job to close those wickets up. So two quick chances for Tavares, and now the Northman trying to answer back. He'll swing it around. Whitcomb in tight and Spillina robbed. Oh, my arrest that man. That was one heck of a save there and what looked like a for sure goal. McDonald on his wrong stick side. He's going to find his way to the bench. Due to Maine. Working with Morin Weeks. Dump it down low. Inside, up, down. Big save. So a chance for Thompson from point blank, but he was stopped. That one not stopped as Lee closes the gap now to 5-4. Justin Lee just doing a good job. Tenacious on the loose balls with the Mountaineers and this one on the run. Changed the angle, bit of a sidearm there, went to the bounce, found the back of the net. So back to a one goal game after the Northman had jumped out to a 5-2 lead. Now, good no look, pass out of the back door. That's a beauty finish there. So a good job, Liam Matthews buries his second of the game. More importantly, it stops the Mountaineers run and it's a two goal lead again. Some great job coming out the back door and you blink an eye and that's it. As the Northman did a good job. I think it was all about that great no look pass. That resulted in the finish. Off the draw as we're under 15 minutes to go here. Period number two. Thompson. He's going to pull it back out. Survey the situation and kick started on that right side half boards. Looking for some room to operate is Lee Thompson's shot knocked down and Northman now with a chance Siapara and he's stopped so great speed from Siapara not able to find the back of the net and now it's Brown Brown with a defender on him he'll hustle off Lauren Weeks gets a screen from Hobbs nothing doing there Back out, swinging around. Five and a shot clock. Waters, good defense by the Northmen. They keep them well out. And playing the carom, Northman now with a chance here. Siding the back door. Hit the trailer. On the run, good save there from Widom. On a good hard shot from Marquise. Tavares, he'll remain out there on that left side. And take that skip pass. He'll swing over on the interchange. Slips, gets back up, loses his stick. And Northman now going to try to get it. Tavares does a good job. He comes away with it. And the flip out on net. And the Northman now will move it up the other way. Owen Ron. He'll retreat. And the offense now. Spalina. His shot, good pad save there, and Widom made that one look easy. 
And now trying to swim his way through McIsaac. He'll get it up over the timeline. Quick pass from Thompson. Karen up and a man up ahead. Good job on the head man. Marquise. And he's stoned there. Good save. And no call as that looked like it may have been goaltender interference. No call in the play. Begley. And he certainly took exception to that. Little greeting from Feem. Dudamain. Looking for some room and skip through rebounds, pocketed. Morin Weeks with the offensive board and the finish. And this is just good hustle, good instincts by Morin Weeks. You see him hovering around, trailing the play, just in that slotted area, picks that up and finds the open corner. That's his first of the game. He's got eight this season. And I think at the 12 and a half minute mark, we're going to have ourselves a water break here. So the goaltenders in this heated arena allowed to get a bit of a breather. Of course, they're wearing a lot more equipment than everybody else. Just to give you a heads up, what's to come for for the Mountaineers, May 27th tomorrow, they will take on Burlington at home. They'll be at Mimico Arena. And then June 3rd, they'll also be home against Whitby. For the Orangeville Northmen, May 31st, they got the Oakville Buzz. That's at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. And then they will be home to the Peterborough Lakers. So a 6-5 game here. 12 and a half to go and off the draw. That's going to be a violation to give possession to the Northmen. They'll set things up on offense. And it's Matthews. And he'll work it around out there with Spelina. And Marquise. Good cross check and forces a turnover. Dwyer in there laying the body down. And Crease will give the Mountaineers possession. Widom now will look to move it up and makes the wise pass to McIsaac. And a chin strap violation. McIsaac has to go to the bench. And a chance here and not quite sure what happened to Cole Teeple as we'll say that he had a bit of a stick malfunction. And if you played this game, it happens. I'm sure he'll be a little more mindful of that next opportunity he gets. Mountaineer is on offense. More in weeks, kicks it over. Roussel, back over to Dudemain. Dudemain bounces back out. Ten on the shot clock, goes to the bounce, goes off a defender. And ball loose. And knocked up ahead. Northman now with a chance. Ruff. And a good save. And almost trickled in. But bounced back out off the post. So definitely the post. The goaltender's best friend in more in weeks. Took a late hit. And that's going to be a good piece of officiating. But Justin Tavares and Elijah Edwards. Mixing it up and the officials do a good job. Play on and now a chance here. Graydon Stokes, of course, a call up from the Junior B Northman. Getting some minutes. Whitcomb, kick it out wide open. One, two, back of the net. That's the way you finish. Marquise with his second of the game. So Colton Marquise, this is just a fine piece of stick work here. As you can see him, he'll fake one, twice to that one side. Boom, and then go to the other side on the twister. No real chance there for Widom as you give a skilled offensive player that kind of proximity. He's going to bury it a majority of the time. Off the draw. 
Looking to move it up his theme, and that's going to be a late hit, so possession going to stay right here. Good job off the draw by the Northmen. And now they'll set things up on offense. Two-goal deficit restored. Trying to turn the corner, and good save. That went off the netting, and a fresh 30 seconds. Benedict on the interchange. Benedict. Oh, blink an eye, and the ball's in the twine. So off that carom, and you can see wasting no time right on the inbound. Just a quick pass and a slide over, and then just a good fake and a better bounce shot. Caleb Benedict with his second of the game. Largest lead of the game now for the Northmen, 3-8-5. We're just over 10 and a half to go here, second period. Off the draw again, Northman controlling the draws. And out the back door, wrong stick side, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Marquise with his third, and it's a beauty. Putting the T in transition lacrosse here are these Northmen. Back door, and I figured wrong stick side, going to be trouble, but... Marquise threading the needle, finding that far side. And he is a sniper. Mountaineers got to be careful here. You don't want to let this thing get away. And Justin Tavares mixing it up one more time. Looks like him and Owen Ron. And now off the draw again. Northman. Edwards and they'll kick it back out and set it up and good piece of officiating. I think the officials are recognize that it's a bit volatile out there right now and you can see both teams not giving an inch. So a good job of officiating as a slash called to Edwards. So third power play opportunity of the game for the Mountaineers. Now they are one for two. Problem is they've given up two shorthanded goals. That on the same power play. So Waters out there in the interchange. Thompson turning the corner. Dump inside. Probably should have taken that. Roussel. Morin Weeks picks it up. They'll swing it back over. Waters kick it here. Rousseau, that one, good save there. And now Northman going to counter. Good speed the other way. Ruff dumps it over. And a good decision by Matthews to keep it and try and burn some clock. Under a minute and a half to go in the man short. Beauty feed Matthews on the money to Spalina. And again, another shorthanded goal registered by the Northmen. Third of the game for Spalina. And it's a 10-5 game momentum in favor of the Northmen. That's just good teamwork there, good passing, and that's why they call this fastest game on two feet and always have. Because when that ball's moving, you can find the back of the net in a hurry. Off the draw again, Northman continue to dominate. A minute 10 to go in the man short. And this Orangeville team looks like they thrive when they're down a man. Three goals have come via man short. But around Spalina. He was instrumental in their only win this season, and he is a factor here again tonight. Dwyer is going to finally regroup. He'll get it and look to move it up. He's got Tavares with him, and Tavares hustles to get it over the line. He'll retreat to the bench. Thompson now will set it up. 25 seconds left in the man advantage. Mountaineers need a little something here. They need to stop the Northman's roll. Roussel not able to get it picked up, though. 
Mountaineers kick it out two and a shot clock, and that one's steered aside. Loose ball. Northman again winning all those battles. They move it up. Ruff. Ruff doing a good job. He is. Been a transition demon for these Northmen here in this game. Had a couple of opportunities. Kick back out. Spalina dumps it on the skip. Six on the shot clock. Gonna have to make take a shot. That one wide of the mark. That'll go the length. And that will, will give possession to the double blue in Mimico. 7.46 to go here. Second period. The Northmen have exploded for five goals here. After the Mountaineers closed to within one, tied it up. Thompson lets it go. Good save by Ora Glary. Dudamain has a cutter. Lee bounces back out. Plenty of time in a shot clock. Back to man-to-man, -to -man, gets a screen. Lee kicks it over. Dudamain sized up that shot, but didn't have a good angle. An easy save made, and now it's Donnie Scott. Scott out the back door. Good pass. Wide open. That's run off the pipe. And back the other way, a chance for the Mountaineers. McIsaac with Tagori. McIsaac keeps. Good save, Ortegary on the other end. And he'll look to move it up in a hurry on a good pass. Tagori knocked it down, but that'll be an over and back call. And possession to the Mountaineers. Thompson will settle things down on the half boards right side. Look for an opening, gets the screen. He'll curl right back out. Has a chance from the top, lets it go. Good save again. Gets the rebound and again off the pipe. So boy, a whole lot of metal work going on here and Good piece of officiating as they're going to get together. And I think that Mark Sands had the better angle and knew that that caught some of the iron. So possession will remain with Mimico. With just over six and a half to go. Thompson sent it over to Hobbs. Owen Hobbs running into some trouble. Manages to get it back. Good defense as the Northmen pressure. Hobbs finally gives it up. Morin Weeks, his shot through a screen. Right on target. Ball loose. Good job to fish that out by Asensa. And he had, loses it. And now the other way comes Edwards. Edwards doesn't have the numbers. So he's going to pull it right back out. And that pass, not able to pocket it cleanly, was Matthews. So a turnover gives it back to Mimico. Tavares. Good pass inside Lee, and good defense there as just getting a stick on it was rough. And if it ain't rough, it ain't real as the Mountaineers now back to work on offense. Math uh, Waters able to tee that one up, and... Mixing it up with Feem. Those two cooler heads will prevail. And now again, almost a quick stick finish with Waters as Lee fed him right on the crease. Some trouble, more in weeks. Wrong stick side, more in weeks. Working in a closet and he fills the back of the net. So second of the game for Morin Weeks as he now has nine goals on the season. And I tell you the one thing about the junior loop is there's a whole lot of enthusiasm and rarely does a play happen that there isn't any aftermath. Every story here seems to have a continuation with five and a half to go. So Thompson getting an explanation doesn't appear to be too pleased as it really only looks like there's one guilty party. And it looks like 
Justin Lee is going to head to the penalty box and the Northmen will get their fourth power play opportunity of the game. One for three. But like I said before, they've collected three shorthanded goals in this game so far. Marquise at the top sends it over. That's a tough quick stick from that spot on the floor by Benedict. And the Mountaineers with a quick pass will move it up to Gorey. To Gorey zips it across. Roussel waits for some help, and it's Hobbs. Thompson, good hands. Picks that up, 10 on the shot clock. Bounce it off the boards. Hobbs couldn't get it. Instead, it's going to be rough. Gets it ahead and a chance and a finish. It's Marquise one more time. Colton Marquise doing everything, including his fourth of the game. And this is just an outstanding feed from Ruff, who, like I said, has been a transition demon, been all over the floor here in this game. So that obviously nullifies the penalty. And I think both coaches taking note that special teams a factor here in this game. If you're the Mountaineers, you certainly have to work on that power play from a defensive standpoint. And if you are the Northmen, you got to like what you see. Two for four with a man advantage. More in weeks. Looking for some room. Another quick shot. Not a quick release as that ball gets out of that pocket in a hurry. Thompson tees it up. Good save, Oregleri. Fresh clock now, Thompson. Doesn't like the way he's getting worked over. Sends it to Waters. Waters going to try to bounce off a check, does. Kicks it back out. Thompson shot wide of the mark. And great pickup and move up by Marquise. One-on-one. -on -one. Marquise fakes the shot. Marquise diving off the post. So a great move to beat the defender and the goaltender, but not able to beat the medal. Lee. Lee gets a screen, and that screen got a chop to go with it on Thompson. Dumped down low, no look. Lee, quick swing, was looking for Tavares. Too tough a pass, and that's going to be a... Over and back violation. Shot clock was in its dying seconds anyway. And we're under three and a half to go here, second period. Spalina sends it over and gliding by. Great save there by Widom. And now a chance. Tavares. Tavares stoned. So outstanding goaltending at both ends as point blank from each team and they both come away with nothing possession here to the Mountaineers Roussel trying to get away from a defender and Stokes Stokes with those long strides staying right with him quick shot there by Asensa rebound scooped up by the Northmen I tell you, they've been practicing their pickups. They're good with it. Three on two now, a two on two, waiting for the rest of the offense now, and a kick back out. Spolina down low and off the crossbar. So a chance for Cohen Jennings, but he too came up with metal. Thank God those nets are made of metal or else there'd be a whole lot of damage done. Whitcomb. Ducks back in, plenty of time in the shot clock, skips it over to the left side. On the dump in, nothing doing there. Matthews had an ocean, but a man wasn't open. Kick it back out on the run, jump shot, and a good one from Marquise. He's feeling it today. And even better, a late change by the Mountaineers. Take advantage, good save with him. As he bails out his team now, and an outlet pass to the speedy Tagori. Has Lee on the other side. Lee, no goal. Big save there from Oregleri. 
And he'll fish it out of his equipment, and here come the Northmen. 11 6. Benedict setting a screen. Spalina, his shot steered aside. I tell you, Widom has been tested here in this game. Benedict shot from way out. Once again, another good save from Widom. As he's got good mobility. Spalina gets a step. Another good save. So despite the, the score, and I thought it was 12-6, 11-6 the score, and possession now to the Mountaineers. Closing in on the final minute here, second period. Brown. Thompson will set a screen, remain at that right shooter spot. Roussel will send it over, and it's due to Maine. Flip back. More in weeks. That rings the bell of Oreglary. Got the rebound. Swing it back over. 35 seconds left in the period. Thompson gets a step. Peels out. Looks for some help. Sends it behind inside. And not even, didn't even see it. But more in weeks wasn't able to cash the quick stick finish. And now the Northman with a chance late. Rough. Dumps it off. Marquise going to play for the last shot. Ten on the game clock. Marquise around the back. Dumps it off. Whitcomb. Whitcomb shots. Great save there again. And Mountaineers hold strong in a defensive end. We have played 40 minutes at Tony Rose. Be locked and loaded for the third period after a short break. Good save. Bagley. He'll go past the defender in Stokes and get it to Roussel. Under eight and a half to go. Mountaineers trailing by four. More in weeks. Dipsy Doodle inside has it stripped. Good job there by Graydon Stokes as his defense front and center. Up the middle, Whitcomb, and he goes flying into the crease area, and no need to take offense as he was checked. Pardon the interruption, of course, on the coordinators. And Nick Rose, an outstanding goalie, of course, in the National Lacrosse League with the Toronto Rock, as he spends a whole lot of his summer working around junior and minor lacrosse. Hats off to you, Nick Rose, a.k.a. Rosie. Mountaineers now trying to generate something. Got to put together a little bit of a run here. Thompson. Looking down low, more in weeks, wasn't open. Good job to get a stick in the passing lane by Ruff. And making a good decision was Feem. He'll give it off. And Matthews now will control. Mountaineers extend the defense. Spalina out there, filtering out late. Get it back, Matthews. Looking across, Spalina leaning in. Kicks it back, loses it. Mountaineers now on the run. McDonnell ducks back in and lost it at the last minute. So a good job to split the defenders, but wasn't able to finish. At the other end. 
The chance ducking through. Good footwork from Jennings to avoid the crease area. They'll kick it back out with 10 on the shot clock. Whitcomb. Give and go, and that baby's in the back. Oh, my perfect execution. Working the give and go. As Amos Whitcomb with his first of the game. And that's just flat out the way this game is played. Tough pass. Sometimes those passes where you don't have a lot of distance between the players is tough to handle, but a good job by Whitcomb not only making the initial pass, but handling the return pass and then burying it. 14-9, Northman in the lead here, under six and a half. That's going to be an over and back violation. Possession to the Mountaineers. Pitt's going to get it and he will curl out, dump it off. And due to Maine. Thompson, one on one, trying to turn the corner. Dumps into Morton Weeks. Wrong stick side. Doesn't matter. Finds that short side one more time and it's 14 10. Morin Weeks with his third of the game, and we talk about working in close, but boy, this kid, I tell you, doesn't need a whole lot of room to operate as he makes good from in really tight. Morin Weeks with his third of the game, and the Mountaineers continue to hang around. They will not go quietly into the night at all. And now the Northmen will set things up on offense. Big shot and a good save as Marquise. And a reset will give the Northmen a chance again. Again, Marquise teed up the underhand. Good save by Widom out of play. So another fresh clock. Bellina, kick out. Plenty of time on a shot clock. Whittem tested again, another good save. And despite giving up 14, he has kept his team in this game. Thompson. We're headed to the five minute mark now. A bit of sense of urgency has to go for these Mountaineers. Lee filtering out late. Thompson, 10 on the shot clock, dumps it off. Dudamain. He's going to take over that top spot. Goal, the net was empty for the extra attacker, but dying second shot clock, going to have to drop it. Roussel. And now the Northman will counter the other way. Who else but Ruff? Seems like Ruff handles everything in between the offense and the defense in that gray area in the neutral zone. Ruff is there. Duck in on the run. Chance there for break as he got his shot off. Wasn't able to find the mark. But a solid effort for Evan Brake making a jump up to play with the junior A Northman. Of course, he has a regular home with the Junior B squad. And a big piece to that puzzle. Lee swinging around Thompson. Thompson, more in weeks, more in weeks. On the fly, goes to the bounce. Good save as Origlieri stepping up, and that one gets deflected. That's going to be a back-in call. So possession will go to the Mountaineers. Getting late early here as Mimico is going to have to up the tempo just a bit. Trailing by four. Thompson, no look. Kicks it out. Net empty now for the extra attacker. Ball gets knocked down. And lost. And a good job at finding the back of the net, boy. Owen, Ron. Big transition goal. May have put a stamp on this one for the Northmen.
And looks like we're going to have ourselves another break as it just seems like every time the Mountaineers claw their way back, the Northmen have an answer. And again, both coaches emphasize that this game was going to be a real measuring stick for each team. And I think both coaches can safe to say they can walk away from this one with a whole bunch of stuff to build on and improve on. Of course, in this game, you're always trying to get better, always room for improvement. So goaltenders back in place. 3.26 to go here, third period. Northman with a handle on this one, leading by five, but we have seen stranger things. But the Northman do a good job off the draw. And some great hands there by Noach Millsap. Spelina. Molina was instrumental early on. He kind of got the ball rolling. Someone's got to kick that little snowball off the mountain, and it's rolling along here as Benedict with his third of the game. So just good fundamental across here. Benedict gets an opening, gets a screen, and finds his way to that middle. Good shooting area, even though wrong stick side wasn't far enough over to cut down the angle too much and he picks the far corner. Mountaineers knew when they came into this game it was going to be a, a tough fight that the Northmen of course predicted as one of the favorites to win this division and that's going to be a Mountaineer penalty and that results in something as Justin Tavares just got pushed to the floor and now we got a bit of a melee going to say the least. And an outstanding job by the officials to put an end to that squirmish in a hurry. And I think that's probably a good idea may be to send some players to the locker room. We'll have to wait and see what comes of it as the dust settles here. I see Elijah Edwards, he's already in the box. Question will be whether or not the Mountaineers picked up one on that as well. This is where things get tricky. So both coaches getting an explanation now as far as what the calls are. And you can see again, this is the volatile time in the game where it could pretty well be decided and now teams start to get just a little more feisty messages want to get sent things taken personal chirping becomes a little more a little louder and it looks like headed into the box will be Cameron Asensa not quite sure he was the guilty party but so it looks like a couple of 10 minute major is being called I believe either way I think there have been a couple of ejections and coincidentals will keep it though a five on four power play for the Mountaineers and they're going to need to hurry here Thompson due to Maine let's it go save there as Origlieri has been solid here 
And giving up 10 goals, man. Your goals against average in lacrosse is not for the faint of heart. And for these netminders, you can give up 10, 12, still have an outstanding game. And no knock on Nate Whittem, who has been solid as well. We are headed to the two-minute warning. That shot goes off the post, back and in. So, Colton Marquise, one more time, his fifth of the game, and he has been a real thorn in the side of the Mountaineers. And you can just see just a good hard shot from a tough angle. And accuracy matters. So with a seven goal lead, that may have been the final dagger as Tagori. And that's gonna be a check in from behind penalty for sure. So this is where as a coach, when you're in the final two minutes, you don't want any injuries. You prefer no suspensions as these two teams will see each other a few more times before it's all said and done. So you can always take names, take numbers, and continue with the next chapter. See here if the Mountaineers put it in gear as they will have a, another five on four. Thompson at the top, they'll work it over to that left side. Good skip as Roussel, too much bounce to the ounce there. And now the Northman, Whitcomb. Minute and a half. No need to score if you're the Northman. You are in complete control here. Time on your side. And Evan Brake will skip that pass across. Break, he'll get it back. Break, takes a chance. Good bounce shot. Whit Whittem made a good save there, and loose. Whitcomb comes away with that. That was a real slick job to bounce off a defender, come away with the ball. And Northman now into the final minute. Break. He'll hold on to it. 10 on the shot clock. He'll just send that down in a direction. And it'll be the Mountaineers now as they will run out this clock here. 30 seconds to go. Good to see a lot of fine young lacrosse players in the house here at Tony Rose. They really do love their lacrosse. Reset now. 10 seconds left on the game clock. That shot from Thompson stopped. Ball's going to get knocked away. Northmen are going to get it, launch it down the floor, and that's going to do it. 17 10, the final for the Orangeville Northmen. They will up their record now to 2 0. The Mimico Mountaineers, their first loss of the season. They fall now to two and one. That is going to do it for us here. I want to thank you for joining us. On behalf of JVI Productions, I'm Lance Wynn. We will see you next time.